Assalamualaikum, hi guys. Okay, so I've come across this ad of this one product that's basically everywhere. Like I'm always seeing the ad and I can't help but be curious and I want to see and try it out myself. So the product is actually this La Glory. La Glory. <laughs> it claims to whiten, moisturizes, protects. And it has an SPF 50, which is actually quite good. But the thing is, like, usually when it comes to um, anything whitening, I'm quite skeptical because I believe in loving your own skin color, loving your own skin tone. And anything that has to do with having to whiten yourself more than your natural color, I don't believe in that at all. I just got this in the mail, like, a few days ago. And uh, so let's see, what does it say? Tone up whitening spray with SPF 50 plus plus. 50 plus plus, okay. Lightweight creamy texture absorbs quickly and does not clog pores. Gives instant whitening effect. I hope that's not what it meant. But anyways, moisturizes and protecting the skin from dryness, okay. The gentle texture of the cream can be used for both the face and the body. Okay, so there's UVB and UVA. Okay, helps to improve skin texture, makes skin tone flawless and smooth. Okay, I'm down with that. Soft and light creamy texture gently absorbs and moisturizes skin. One cosmetic product for multiple purposes, which also contain vitamin C and niacinamide. Okay, niacinamide is one of my favorite ingredients in a beauty product. I, uh, I'm a huge lover of niacinamide. Ever since I use niacinamide, um, uh, it has, it's known to lighten your dark spots. So if you have um, a discoloration uh, or pigmentation, um, you should find products that has niacinamide in it. And honestly, I love it. Okay, if there's niacinamide, then I'm totally on board with this. Vitamin E to reduce pigmentation and scar. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so uh, I I had makeup earlier, but I it's already like all washed off. So apparently they say you can use this kind of like a makeup or makeup base or I don't know. They say you don't even need makeup if you put this on. So let's see what the fuss is all about. So I bought this because I saw that there was promotion. It says to shake. Is that enough? I'm just gonna okay. maybe two two is fine. Let's see what the fuss is all about. I saw the lady just put it on her face like it was. You see my face getting... It's a bit like, it's like cream. It's cream texture. Kind of like when you put on... You put on sunblock, but then it slowly is drying off. Is this enough? I don't know. Okay, let me try. Let me put just a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot on my nose because that's the most discolored part of my face. Forehead. I saw that it's also for your body, so I'm gonna try to spray some. I don't know guys. Is this what people really want? To be so pute? 
Oh my dear. <laughs> if what it claims to be, the fact that it's it makes it a bit putte, then the claim is kind of true. Actually, it's true. <sighs> Do I agree with this? I like the benefits of it with vitamin C, vitamin E, niacinamide. But the whole making you white conclusion. Okay, I have mixed feelings with this one. I like that it has niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E in it. And I think for a person with a fair color skin tone with reddish or pinkish or yellowish undertone would look okay but I'm curious whether it works for tan skin people if it's if it just maybe makes them if it makes their skin just glow even more with the natural skin uh, tone that they already have or Does it make them look Like this colored you get what I mean when a tan skin person wears a Lighter color foundation, you know, it you know, it, it just Doesn't look right because it doesn't suit their color. So I'm curious if This is what will happen if they wear this so then that wouldn't be fair, I guess. Yeah, so I will have to research on that.